The people of Patkopatan waited a long time for this, to catch a glimpse of their long-lost and much-loved idol. The 12th century statue of Lakshmi Narayan was worshipped for centuries before it disappeared from the town in 1984. We were sad when the deity we worshipped disappeared. We're happy to get it back. Nearly 40 years later, it is back where it belongs. The statue was briefly seen at Sotheby's auction house in New York in the early 90s before vanishing again. It then reappeared at the Dallas Museum of Art in Texas. Artist and researcher Joy Lynn Davis spotted it in an online image search six years ago. Since then, she's been working with Nepali heritage activists and FBI agents to ensure its return to Nepal. It feels like a bit of, uh, like a bit of justice in the world and also just a, a, a wonderful happiness to see, the, see it returned and actually back in worship again in the original temple. It's, it's, it's the dream. It's a dream come true for, for many of us. Temple custodians conducted religious rites before reinstating the statue in its shrine. We're in part of Darbar Square, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In the past, dozens of Kathmandu Valley's venerated deities have disappeared from here into private and museum collections abroad. But what may be objects of art for many have deep cultural and spiritual significance for generations of Nepalis. The 1980s and 90s saw the plunder of bronze deities and stone sculptures from Kathmandu's valley region. Two important books, The Gods Are Leaving the Country and Stolen Images of Nepal, have painstakingly documented more than 200 missing artifacts. The books raised awareness about the thefts and trafficking in cultural heritage. Heritage activists say there is increasing pressure on Western collectors and museums to return Nepal's stolen treasures. When they see how we worship and take care of our deities, I'm sure people will be happy to return them. When they realize what they have is stolen, they must feel guilty. While only a small percentage of Nepal's stolen idols have found their way home, activists welcome this happy homecoming as the start of a positive trend. Ramya Talimbu, Al Jazeera, Kathmandu.